what's up everyone do you know what is malware and you want to dig in deeper and analyze the malware then you are in the right place the flare vm today we are going to look at how we can install the flare vm on oracle virtual box you can install it on the vmware workstation as well so flare vm is basically designed for malware analysis and malware reverse engineering so we are going to look at how we can install this VM and what we can do with this. This is not the only one. I will do another video for Remnux. Remnux also for static analysis. And there is another tool inside the Remnux which is called iNetSim. I'm going to set up a home lab using these three components and how we can do a very beginner level simple manware analysis if you are interested in so without further ado let's get started so if you want to install the flare vm you need to have some sort of free requirements first thing is you need to have windows 10 or windows 11 virtual machine already installed and after that you need to disable the windows update on that same machine same vm then you have to disable the anti-malware software which means windows defender on your own vm so first thing first we'll start these steps so i have already installed my windows 10 vm over here i'm going to stop my windows updates from here go to the settings and windows updates it's a fresh vm i didn't check any windows update so i'm not going to touch that one hopefully it won't cause any issues next thing is i want to disable the windows defender i can disable the real-time protection from here but in the flare vm team they will ask to do it from the group policy i will show you how we can do that you can simply do the run and gpedit.msc this will navigate you to the group policy manager and under the computer configuration windows sorry administrative templates and windows components microsoft windows defender and you can turn off the microsoft windows defender antivirus from here Simply enable win turn off Windows Defender antivirus and click apply and OK. Then you can close this. Take the CMD as administrator and type GP update, which means group policy update. And then we are good to go. Flare VM setup you can find easily on the GitHub when you Google it like Flare VM GitHub so i'm going to do the same here player vm github this is from mandiant we already done our first steps pre-installation steps then we are going to move into the installation process so you need to open the PowerShell as administrator then you have to download this ps1 installer script so I am going to open PowerShell as administrator like this. Yep, this is my PowerShell. And I'm going to copy this entire command from here and paste it in my PowerShell and hit enter. Then it will download that ps install.ps1 script here then we have to unblock that installation script for that we can copy this command simply and paste it on the same terminal and press enter okay the next thing is we need to enable the script execution we need to unrestrict the policy i'm going to copy the third command and paste it from here and press enter okay now we are good to go Finally, we can execute the installer like this. Dot backslash install.ps1 and press enter. 
then it will execute maybe i will increase the font size a little bit then you can see that easily and i want to continue yes and we just have to wait a little bit as you can see it will download the required file from the internet from the github what we have to do is we just have to wait until it's prompt the gui installation window so we just wait now it is asking have you taken a snapshot on the vm uh in my case no but if you can go ahead and do the snapshot for safer side i will say yes and it will ask my windows user password i'm going to give my windows user password and it will start the installation process what you have to do is you just have to wait you don't have to do anything really it will do everything automatically sometimes it will restart the vm several times but you don't have to start the script again it will execute automatically the thing is you just have to wait and see installation has been completed so We'll just wait and see until we are getting the GUI installation prompt. I will minimize the back window. Then you can see there are some uh, tools and files adding in the background. So this is the um, GUI installation window. In here, you can select which tools you want to install. And if you want to install all the tools, you can click this button and install them like you can select them and ask to install in my case i have no idea with all of these tools i don't know maybe i'm good to go with the default configuration it will totally install 77 tools i will say yes and i will ask to install those selected tools maybe i will fast forward the video otherwise we have to wait long time to complete this you have to just wait and see uh, maybe 20 to 30 minutes depending on your vm and post machine configuration i will do the fast forward and see now the vm is restarting and once it booted up it will run the script automatically you don't have to do anything you just have to wait and see it will do everything automatically now the vm has come up and it will run the command prompt automatically for you we will just wait and see once it's started yeah as you can see it is starting automatically and run all the tools automatically for you we just have to wait so we are still waiting to install hold the setup here it has installed few softwares sigwin contract Gindra, Hex Editor, few softwares, few more to go. We will just wait and see until it's completed installation. Then we can do some sort of tool analysis. Okay. Um. After few more minutes, maybe 30 to 50 minutes, we have successfully installed our Flare VM, and this is the completion note that's all done here as you can see everything has changed even um, the desktop wallpaper as well uh, it is saying installation complete we are finished with that hit enter to exit here we go so we have plenty of tools here see a lot of tools installed this was a fresh vm when i was initially start the installation now it has everything which we need to analyze the malware so this is how we can install the flare vm we'll catch up with the next video how to install remnax thank you very much guys thank you